yep, back out. And this time, <laughs> you might be able to tell from the title that we are doing a charity wild camp. Um, oh, in aid of Christ, wind man. It's always windy, it's still windy. That's a Vulcan bomber, that. Beast of a thing. Um, right in aid of the homeless veterans. I'll put a link in the description for the donation page if you want to donate. You don't have to. It's there if you do. This is called something about a bumblebee because of the, the, um, the colours. Yeah. See. Mad, isn't it? Something different. It's Northeast Airlines. I'm sure I've flown on one of them before. I'm sure they used to be red as well. The top used to be red. Yeah. Anyway, we're just um a few lads, a couple of the lads are going to turn up shortly. We're just at the aircraft museum. We've got special permission, thank you very much, to uh, make a little camp over here somewhere. Camp out. Sleep out for Tommy. So we'll be doing that. Right, get sorted. Alright, so this is the lad I'm out with, Derek. Alright. Look at me hot, man. Derek's got his own channel, um, The Mountain Men. Right. Always comments on my videos. Trolls is like. Dead <laughs> negative. But yeah, we're gonna... Uh, as you can see, we're just like next to the vans. We're just next to the vans. It's not like a wild, wild camp. Just a doss out. But it's all for charity. It's all for charity, babe. Quite literally, all for charity, mate. They do a lot of work for charity. Is this yeah, a square? I don't know. I think it is a square. No, I've bought it and I've never had it. <laughs> it's windy as hell. Hard work in the wind. I'm sorry, I set the camera away. Comedy? Comedy value? Yes. Alright, so we're going to set the top up so there's a little bit of rain coming on, but it's now bad, it's nothing to worry about. But I, Derek, Derek organised all this. If it wasn't for you appearing here, I wouldn't have get permission in the first place, you know? I am the star, like. I am the star. <laughs> I am. I'm the star. Right. What do you need me to do? Right, what I'm going to do, um, I'll put that knob over there and I'll tie that little door. So if you grab the other side of this, and then we'll drape it to look like what? Here we're going then anyway, so we've got Derek and Rob's turned up. That's it. And he's brought the world's biggest tent. And another biggest tent in the world. Fishing shell, that's good that. I'm getting one of them like. So yeah, so there's only one more to come, aye? Aye, one more to come, uh, big Chris. Big Chris, aye? So, aye. Any jokes? No, uh, oh, should we do a, a quick line about the 
the great out the great you can do it. You can do it. I mentioned it over there, but you can do the rest. All right, yeah. Well, we're planned Saturday the 23rd. Obviously today we're doing the great Tommy Sleepout, which is a Royal British Legion sponsored event where, well, the four of us, when Chris eventually turns up, are going, going to be sponsored for a night out under the stars. Um, yes, I know there's a few tents, but we'll be bivying as well. Um, the event does include tents and such like, but that's what it is, sleeping out under the stars and all the money goes to um, fund the homeless vets on the street who often get overlooked out of sight and out of mind. And thanks to this guy here, we'll air it and get a bit more recognition and a bit more awareness of what goes on and, you know, hopefully raise some cash. Yeah. So dig deep, hands in your pocket, every little bit counts. If only we had the world's best wild camper, then we could get this message out a bit better. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> mentioned my name. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just joking. I just, uh, I see as if all my subs put like a pound in, that's 9,000 pound. That's incredible, aren't you? <laughs> we'll not get it though. Half <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> of them's gonna be bots. It's really see that here. Just a pound, what's a pound anyway? Oh, yeah. I think what it, uh, the only hard work is is people wanting to go through the, you know, pay pal or whatever, whatever venue, uh, uh, avenue they use for paying, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think now modern uh, technology is quite easy. To oh, that's dead easy. Transfer, isn't I'll it? put the link in the description, just click on the link. Brilliant. Because he's already sent us the link. Right. So I'll just put it in, just copy and paste, and then just click the link. Probably ask you for your email, won't it? Aye. That's right. a brit. Yes. As, I, as I say, I've got a few people, not a load, but if I can try and get that link onto my Facebook friends, you know, yeah. all, all uh, 20 of them. <laughs> That's all you need, man. That's all you, you need. you reveal the location yet, or are you going to do it? What, here? The location? Yes. I think it sort of like, kind of give it away before, when I was under the Vulcan. Sunderland Air Museum. What's it called? Great North Air Museum Transport or something? Museum. All right, Transport Museum. Okay. But yeah, we're camping under the planes. So yeah, that's it then. All right, we're going to have another beer. Oh, so here we are. We're set up now. I kind of see a thing like, this is the two fishing charters. This is my, this is my effort. Right under the, right under the plane, right under it. <laughs> Snug pack stratosphere. Oh, just a bit of. I've got a new sleeping bag. We'll talk about this in another video. Down bag with like a um, Pertex shield cover. It's like a water repellent cover. I'm gonna try it out tonight. See if it's warm enough. Hopefully it will be. My pillow in there, and we slip my silver side up. If anybody's interested in, I'll put the links in the description for Allah. But this is not about it's not about promoting stuff tonight. This is about ooh, raising awareness and cash if we can. Cash is king. That's how close I am to the plane, though. I'm gonna have some weird dreams tonight, like some proper strange dreams. Here's Derek. Set up, same thing. Oh, no. Hardcore, like you know the score. That looks nice and cozy, mind. And what's this? DD sleeping bag. Jura too. When he said he was bringing the Jura, right? I thought he was bringing Waski. Uh -huh. The bloody sleeping bag. I feel cheated. <laughs> I feel done. Hard done by. I have the Jura too. I have the Jura too. Flaming bloody whiskey. <laughs> Oh, whiskey as well. Oh, yes. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. World famous Waski review. Or should we just leave that for another channel to do? Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Keep mentioning Well, he mentioned me the other day, so. Block outdoors. Yeah, we're going to go out camping. Soon. Hopefully. Get it arranged. This is uh, Rob's setup. Look at this. Luxury apartment. Now I feel jealous. Oh, man. Bed. This is a spare tent. We're not actually sure what we're going to do with this. It's massive though. Mathis. Yeah, we're not far from the, the vehicles. Uh, like I say, it's not a wild camp where we walk for miles. It's just a 
it's just different, isn't it? It's really just different. It's that right underneath the bloody good big aeroplane. And then over here is a good jumbo jet. <laughs> sort of. I think it's a Boeing 693. There's actually a pilot in. Somebody sat in that. That's creepy as out that like. That is really creepy, I don't like it. Look at that. Can you see him? <laughs> I don't like it. That is creepy. Nah. Can't have it. Anyway, there we go. We'll come back later. Hi, so, you know, we're uh, we're having a good laugh. How you, How is your night going, Derek? Very well, thank is you. It? Very well. Is very it, though? Well. Yes. We're just... having a Jura. Uh, where's the other gone? What, what happened to Rob, who... Um... Rob's actually gone out for pizza. <laughs> He's gone out for pizza, because every 16 pizza companies are found in the nearest area. Yeah. One blood. The one blood. So you pizza companies. You pizza companies. Yes. Pizza companies. Yes. Just get in the sea. The Ghostbusters are out. Aye, this, this is like a... Um, let's put the camera on me. Because I'm the star. I'm the star. <laughs> <laughs> so the, <laughs> the, pizza, the pizza companies, right? Or like ghost hunters. The, no. The what? <laughs> the ghost hunters aren't pizza. The, There's ghost hunters round. Round. This is a this is a well-known haunted area, right? So what they do is they do the guided um, Ghostbusters tour. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Can't believe you said that. Anyway, so they've been round Ghostbusting, <laughs> right? They've came wandering around here. So I mean, you know, the stories of the ghosts may be or may be not true. It depends what you believe, what your beliefs are. One of them is a running dog, which I don't like running dogs. No, I do. I, I love dogs. I've got two dogs. No, I can't be dealing with ghost dogs. Like but not ghost dogs. Werewolves. Werewolves. Is, is. They're not bad, as no. long as they're not running. Have you ever seen that film Dog Soldiers? Yes. I'm not having it like I'm no. not having dogs no. running around here like no, that was filmed in Wales as well oh, but but it's like dog ghosts can get in the sea anyway that's what they're, that's what they're looking for they are, apparently there is ghosts and all that shit around here you know what I mean <laughs> dog ghosts can get in the sea dog ghosts can't get oh. in the sea and drown that's what that means oh. so anyway the Ghostbusters around here, anyway, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. I'm talking absolute rubbish. I may, I may be a little bit drunk like this. this some, I've just <laughs> heard something over there. I'm not kidding, I've just heard something over there. Oh, maybe it was the wind blowing the tent. No, no, like a... And it wasn't like a, like from me. It was all the plane. I didn't start with that. No, nah, honestly, I can't, yeah. deal, I can't deal with dog ghosts right yeah and little girl ghosts as well oh. he said he said in there was uh -huh. a little girl ghost not about here as well so i can't deal with that either oh do you know the film where's the, where you know there's two there's two girls in a hotel hello in, there's um it's johnny the, oh that film man oh. and he's Frank, Frank Nicholson, John Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, The Shining. That's it. I them two girls. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 we like, oh, so, I will. That's scary. Uh, them two girls. With the are wee scary. twins. The two twins. I the wee the wee twins. Do you know what the most scary thing I ever saw? <laughs> oh, Was three twins. Three, that's that's worse than tuppence, thruppence. Three twins, right? Yes. Is the really? most <laughs> scary thing you've ever seen in your life. Anyway, right, so... <laughs> so, raise money for Tommy Sleepout. 
Yes, indeed. I mean, so, we, we are actually meant to be homeless tonight, aren't we? We are. We are like the homeless people, though. We are because, the homeless people. Yeah, yeah. And tonight we are actually sleeping out under the stars, and we are. Busy. And yes. to be fair, right? To be fair to us, mm -hmm. we I could quite easily kip in the back of there mm -hmm. in a lovely, lovely, comfortable little van there with a the gas heater with all the luxuries. But no. But no. We're sleeping over there in bivy bags under the aeroplane. Can I just say your your van? Yes. Your van's massive in reality. It is. Massive. when you watch it on on film. I'm actually massive. Mm. I am massive. You, you And that's why I need a massive van. Yes. Because I'm massive. In stature and in man. Well, let's do for comparison. Look at the size of them. Right. You are massive. Derek's like six foot nine, right? And 42 stone. Look at this. I make him, I make him look like a small person. It's I'm huge. I'm huge. Ugh. Oh, you're some Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, I'm, I'm even better than Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Schwarzenegger. You are a Mike Med. I'm no, like, you're a rich guest, no? Right, right, rice crispy. Yes. I am a rice crispy. Yes. Right. So anyway, right. We'll leave it at that. Boosh. Ah! Oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention, right? Derek here, being the kind man that he is, gave me a nice present tonight. Let's have a look. At, let's have a look at that present. Pair of support underpants. It's a pair of support underpants. Oh, so we've had a good night. We've had a really good night. We've had a few laughs, a few drinks, one or two. Turn this light off. Ah, that's it. Yes, I'm back in the room. Back in the room. Yeah, we've had a good night, some good laughs, bit of chow, bit of chow. We've done some ghost busting. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbuster! I knew it. So, Rob, have you had a good night? It's been a very interesting night, educational, <laughs> uh, <laughs> bit of retrospective thoughts and memories of when I was quite handsome and that was really hard. I found out I'm not that now. No. I really wanted to be a librarian. So yeah, there you go. What can you do with that? Well I was I was a, I'm a librarian. Are you? I was born in October, yeah. Maybe we were twins. No? Yeah. Anyways, if it wasn't gonna be that, I'd want to be a hairdresser. And then what then what would you do? If I was a hairdresser? Yes. Well then you could put blue rinses on, you know, old ladies' hair and and you could sort of like talk to them, you know, get a conversation going. Ask nice them. warm salon. Ask that, them how the day went. Well, was that all laying bricks in the freezing cold weather and rained off and covered up with people that yep. strange as I don't really know. Well, that's that's good insight. In, <laughs> it is. It's good. It's good insight. I just like to share that with you. Well, it's abilities, you know. Yeah, yeah. You have abilities. Yeah. But. What what actually turned out to be the most mad thing in the world is that I went on a job. When was it? Helipad last year. It was last year, right? I went on a helipad job, doing my job, and he was the engineer who oh, called yeah. us in. Site agent. Mate, the site agent. Well, but he, the engineer as well, though. But but he called us in. Yeah, he did. All right. So, you know. Uh, all right. Uh, come and do some cubes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, aye. It's small of a world, really. You now everyone thinks it's a big uh, world, aye. but it's not. It's small, really. And it was him. It was him. No, anyone in it. I could have called anyone, and I called him. And anyways, I got the results I wanted in I, the end. I called him. I called him. <laughs> Worse than fucking. Me. <laughs> 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 I called you worse than shite. Oh, that's oh. terrible, lot of things. Bloody Joe, where's a friggin' yeah. concrete? Will I get my sister up, yeah? Aye. Clean out. Well, you know, I deserve it. 
I deserve to be knocked clean out. I really do deserve to be knocked clean out. Oh, she doesn't give us nearly so often. Your sister's gonna come and knock no, me out. She just doesn't care about your origami. Oh. That's your lady. I am actually an expert in origami. Because she's got scissors. Scissors, scissors, right, is the enemy of the origamist. That's exactly it. I mean, I kind of do all that stuff as well with your fingers. Yeah. Well, well, anyway, so you've had a good night, yeah? On that note, yeah, yeah, definitely. Good. Mentally disturbing, but yeah. Ah, hey, you'll never be the bro. same again. This is all we're doing for Tommy tonight, anyway, so. Yeah, sleep out for Tommy. Yeah, and if anyone can find uh, Decker's charging leads, uh, please shout up. All right, if you can find these charging leads, you let me know. Put anything in for charity. There you go. 100%. Right, yeah. let's go and pester, pester Decker hard. Let's go and knock them out. It's windy as hell. <sighs> oh, I've got my head torch on. Look. Turn off. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, yep. Off. Right, so. Derek, have you had a good night? It's been an excellent night. Uh, has it though? It has been an excellent night. Uh, You're not just making that up. No. <laughs> no, I just wish there was more. There was more availability of the well, more participation of the drink. It's not about the drink. No, no, it's not. It's about it's the about cause. Ah, the yes. cause. Yes. The cause. Yes. Yes. Not the cause. Come on. Make me breathless. Make me breathless. I'm not much of a singer. Not those cause. All right. The cause. Mm. Mm hmm But yeah. So raising awareness for yeah. the homeless veterans. Yes, and I must. I look homeless. But you know, in 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 all seriousness, I say that laughing. But in all seriousness, we're in here tonight, and we've got the choice of going back to a nice warm sleeping bag you know and there's a lot out there who are in jeans and a raggy jumper sitting in the doorway trying to get out the wind the wind yeah and uh, you know we're just doing this and we're having a lot and doesn't matter he guns up the places it's minuses windy rain snow hail frost you name it i pay a lot of money to go on like a homeless person yeah which is madness. But yeah, you've, you've got to think about it, haven't you? You've got yeah. to think, like, these lads got any choice. They've come out of the army, and they've got, they've gotten out. They're like, stand there. It's it's like you come out of prison, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Is it. What do I do now? You just stand there, you, what do I do? And, uh, oh, I don't know. The government need to step up to the mark, don't they? It is a very sore point, isn't it? Uh, we don't want to. We don't get too political, but mm. you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But it's it's, it's thanks to people like him uh, and like you lot out there well, that make a difference to the people on the ground in that doorway, lying in the street, getting wet, cold, tired, and hungry. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can raise a couple of. Yes, yes indeed. A couple of pence and we'll all pass it on. There'll be a link in the description, like I said. So anyway, look. Dum. Here's the fan. Here's the fan. <laughs> it's so tempting. I'm in the fan. <laughs> oh, 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 me fan, me fan. You oh, make me fan. feel brand new. It's a like crushed velvet. <laughs> you make me feel <laughs> like a natural woman. <laughs> She's so velvet. Woman! She's so Woman! velvet. <laughs> Woman! Ooh! Bear! He's asleep there now, listen to this. Oh, Rob! <laughs> ah, he's not asleep, he's lying there listening, he's listening to everything. He's yeah. lying there in his underpants. <laughs> which, by the way, Derek gave me a, a nice free pair of underpants. <laughs> <Rather hiking. laughs> Alright, so anyway, right, we're going to bed. We're going to bed, we'll see you in the morning, right? Yeah? Yes, yes. Alright, good morning. Good night. God. God. Very God. 
gut. <laughs> I can't turn it off. <laughs> oh, it won't switch off. Bloody <laughs> thing, man. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh. Here we go then. Anyway, we woke up. It's the next day. The very next day. I mean, Derek are keeping there. Rob's packed away. He's very efficient. He's gone. He's picked, packed and all put away in the van, the car, whatever it is. So yeah, that was my sleep out for the charity. Sleep out to help out. So a, bit more, a, bit, a little bit more, look at the planes. Ah, oh, it's freezing. It's all right, that's definitely a three season bag, that sleeping bag. Uh, look on Google Maps, you can see that, that Vulcan. I think there's only one Vulcan left that actually flies these days. Let me take that to the Sunderland Airshow whenever it's on. I think that's been stopped now. Oh, it's so cold. All right, so we're going to have a, a cup of tea, I think. Pack these away and then I get cleaned up. So we'll come back when we've done all that, right? Bit different this video, but still, lots of interest. Well, here we are. This is where we were here, just pitched under the plane, the Bumblebee plane, here and here. Rob's big tent was there, he's put that away. He's ready to go now, we're locked in. We can't get out, the gate's locked. They've locked us in. Grand, grand. So, you know, we've, just, we've got everything packed away nice and neat. Nothing to dry off, which is always a brucey. So Derek, how did you enjoy that night? Excellent. Well, uh, I didn't think I'd be all right in that uh, strat with that wind, I thought it was zipping up, I'd be condensed, but it was really good, dead funny. Mm -mm. Really good, I even pressed Rob, like he actually said he's never met anybody as mental and crazy as you. Oh, well, I don't know how to take that. Uh, I've met him before. Aye, aye, from work. Uh, anyway, well, good, glad you enjoyed it. So, next week, oh, next week I'm away to Scotland, maybe. Depends on that, how that behaves. So, unless I can find a hill to go camp on in Scotland I might not be doing a camping video we're just doing a van go on the van channel and I'll do some um, I'm going to go around St Andrews and the other little seaside villages in Fife uh, so don't forget right if if you've got a spare pound lying around Click on the link in the description and send that pound to Tommy, the homeless veteran, of which there are many. So I don't I don't normally ask for money on my channel, and I never will, unless it's for something like that. You don't have to donate, you know. I've stuck some money in. Out my own pocket. But yeah, that's it. So we'll see you on the next one, eh? I'll just leave you with the nose of this plane. Look at the nose. They put they put a bag of gravel in. Apparently, that's to stop it from lifting when it takes off. <laughs> How very 19th century. <laughs>